Yo, what's going on guys? Jacob here as always and today I am super excited to bring this episode to you because I'm finally cleaning up all the bottom end engine components, which means that soon in the future I'm going to be putting the engine back together, which is just great. I mean, it really is fantastic. And especially we get to take a really deeper look at uh, all the components because they're going to be clean. We can see any small damage or if everything looks great, which I'll tell you right now, everything turned out fantastic, almost as good as factory. I mean, I mean, really it did. I'm super impressed with how this engine has lasted over the last 150,000 miles. Uh, but that being said, 150,000 miles is a lot of time to accumulate carbon on the pistons and valves. So I'm going to be cleaning those in this episode for sure and picking all the really stuck carbon out and uh, get these pistons back to factory so that the next episode I can do uh, redo the side skirt coatings and then also apply ceramic coatings to the tops of the pistons, which should uh, allow me to make more horsepower on the stock setup without me having to worry as much. But anyways, I digress. Uh, without further ado, let's dive into this episode and take a look at everything here. Go back, 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 back. So before we dive deep into looking at all the cleaning for everything, uh, first let's take a look at all the components that need to be cleaned. And specifically, we're going to look pretty close here at the pistons. So you can see that the here is cylinder number one. I have the piston rings removed from it, but I don't have the rings removed from anything else because I didn't have the tool uh, that was right for taking it apart. And I actually don't want these rings to fall apart, but that's a whole long story. Anyways, long story short, only cylinder one hasn't removed for this picture. And uh, you can see this is 150,000. Uh, miles worth of carbon buildup on the tops and sides of the pistons and here is the carbon on the side of the piston you can see it's inside of the ring grooves um, just all crammed up all over the place and you can also see here that the side skirt uh, coating is worn off as well here's a good shot of the connecting rods and you can see the bearings are still inside of them and so you can see what they look like from both sides here's all the parts up close and here's valves. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right in and clean everything.
and at last we're left with a stack of boxes full of clean parts for this engine. Uh, let me tell you something, this is extremely satisfying for me because this was one of the bigger hurdles that I knew was in front of me and at least I've got a portion of that out of the way. I've still got some more engine component cleaning to do in front of me but uh, you know this is one of the big ones with all the carbon parts uh, with the exception of the head so uh, looking forward to the rest of the build in the next episode coming up we're going to be removing the old coatings from the pistons on the skirts and we're going to be applying new ones along with a top coat of ceramic coating on the top of the piston um, stay tuned for that that's coming up in the next episode be sure to subscribe if you want to see it um, also if you guys are getting value out of this content leave a like and also consider leaving me a message letting me know what you like what you don't like or what you want to see if there's anything that I missed that maybe that uh, you want to know about with this engine because I've got this whole thing apart and this is the best time to ask these questions no question is a dumb question but anyways yeah thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next episodes I'll see you next time have a good one